Hi everyone, it's Dave from Today's Small World, and this week we're going to be looking at making some statues. So dig out all your old broken figures, i found a use for them. This is for Frostgrave, I've decided I'm going to put a game on at Legionary this year. So I'm going to whack on and build the wizard's house, do some bits, so expect a few videos along the way. And what we're building today is this, and I'll show you properly at the end. Right guys, we're going to make up some bronze statues. Uh, frost gray, so I've just grabbed some old figures. Uh, it's good use if they're all broken as well. We all got old figures kicking about, some of us, tons of them in the loft. What I've done then is cut myself a pile of one inch squares. We're making six statues, I've cut 12 of these and I've cut a slot in the top. Then I've cut myself six two centimeter squares. It's all out of phone call. That's one I've already done. Right, here we go. So what I'm going to do is get a triangle file. I've left the paper on at the moment because you find as you do this, you'll actually rip and get hold of it. Come down the sides. A little bit under. Middle. You find there it's starting to rip the paper up. There you go. So I just right, and I come down this this one. Right, that one's not very deep, so I've got a little bit more of a rub. Where it's pulled the paper back, get hold of it, and rip it off. Might be some bits left, doesn't matter, it all adds to the texture afterwards. Right, all I'll do then is go around the edges a little bit. There is some sharpness. Fluffs up any more paper and get hold of, I'll just pull it off. Put a little bit on the underside, it chips it. And I end up with a four way cut square, which your old figure will fit in the slot. This be your capping stone. Right, I'll crack on and get the others ready. Right, next we're going to get one of our smaller ones and we're going to whack in. So come off of middle and get a grave off of middle. Middle and the same on that side. These you're not really going to see that much of, to be honest. I'll just take some paper off. Can the sides still flat? Yes, can I? And it will fit that one in the middle. Right, and we got our base one. We're going to do the base. So we've got our one inch square, We're using an old coin here, I should say use washers. And all I'm going to do is pierce around the coin. Careful not to cut your finger. Okay. Right, so you've got a rough disc cut, put your blade underneath the paper. Find a better point, that's a good point. Just work it around. Try and keep your fingers out of the way of the front of the blade so if it does slide it then chop your finger off. Just work it way around. And that comes out, don't the paper. 
all you want to do is build a little well in here, so just tidy up a bit around the edge. And just roll it out. Doesn't need to be that clean. So what we're doing then is, as before, we're blocking our four markers. Leave the paper on the bottom this time. Right, so you get your base with your well in. Whack a bit of cork in, in. It's just build as cork, nice and cheap. There you go, just something to pin it. Whack your washer in coin in this case because the washers are in the garage but I only do one like this because you're not going to use coins. Get the middle piece, give it a squish. I've got any bits that look obviously coming out so we just do that. Top, dollop, larger top with the recessing. Put it on, give it a good push. There's our, there's our base all left, being left now to dry and we'll come back to it. Right, let's stick our figure in. Same thing, put the cork in. Work it in the middle. Get your figure. Just push them in. Up a little bit, and then there you go. We let that dry. Right, they're still drying, but they're pinned enough to work with. So I'm going to get some polyfiller. Get down. Get some water. Just to thin it down. And like we did on the walls, what I do is just work my way around. And we're going to put this off to dry. And I'll crack on with the others. Right, our filler's all set. It's given us a nice hard base. Um, I'm just going to give these a coat of black undercoat. And I'll be back with you to do the stonework. And then we'll work on bronzing and aging up the statues herself. Right, we've got all our figures dry. We've got a black prime. So now we're going to get some brass scorpion, that's the only brass I've got and I've got some thinner on here as well a wet palette so I'll just drag some of the, this into there, just thin it down a little bit a bit back it up a bit so you can see what's going on so just thin the paint a little bit and we'll just coat these Right, we've done our brass coat, we're just going to put a wash over it with some nulling oil to add some contrast and darken up some bits. Yeah. Yeah, see I've got the boss telling me what to do. So I'll just coat. With paint. This is like paint, isn't it? Yeah. Out. That's so belly. So turn the light that way get some more light on it for you. Picked out some more of the shady yeah, part. Yeah, paints. Yeah. Paints. Right, I'm going to crack on and do the other few. Right guys, it's all dried up overnight. The bronze is all come up quite nicely. Then the paint gives you some texture as well. Then the wash has just finished it off. So now we're going to age them up a bit. So we'll grab some malicot side. I'm going to put this on a plate. Oh, 
Thanks, we can take. Can get a sponge. So we use a sponge to put this on. Just grab a little bit. Get our figure. And we just dab it. go with that. So it's all aged out, we'll get the others done, let them dry and then we'll come back and do the stonework. Right, now that our statues have all dried up, I'm going to mix up some grey paint. So I'm using the grey acrylic again. Oops, I forgot to grab some thinners, I'll just go and get some. Right, I grabbed my thinners. As I said before, this is isopropanol, water and glycerine. Because acrylics, craft acrylics are quite thick. This will just help break it down a little bit more. Can take a little bit more on that. watching the brush from all like it. And we'll just whack on our grey paint. And there we go, that's the first one done and I'll crack on with the others. Right, now we've got our base grey on, we're gonna get some colour in it. So I've just got a palette of some red, yellow, grey and some thinners. So grab our grey. I like that in both of them. It's quite a thin, watery mix. Grab a bit of red. It's going to need a bit more grey in it. I overdid that one. I'm going to thin that a bit more in a minute. Just to make a wash. Right, and all we're going to do is just touch these in. Right, so we've got a mixed colour base, we'll let that dry up. Let's just work around these a minute. I'll crack on and get the others done. Right, they're reasonably dry, they're not fully dry, so I'm going to wet them with a coat of melon oil, just on the bases, the dreaded pot that everyone always knocks over. First of all, I want to mainly hit the groove, make sure we actually get some of these stones picking back out again. Oh, let's come down, there's that one washed, I'll let that dry. I'll crack on with the others and then we'll come back with the dry brushing. Right, our washes have dried up. Yep, they're dry enough. <laughs> so I'm going to grab some under high vash and some tennis stone to give them a dry brush. If I was doing big stuff, I'd be using um, tester pots. As this is little, I don't mind using some citadel paints. So let's grab some of our under high vash. Wipe it off on some cardboard. Just give it a dry brush. Put on the camera, it's a bit tree. And there's our first one dry brushed. I'll crack on and do the others, and then we'll come back with the stone colour. Right, we've done that one. Now it's onto the Terminator stone. Just like cream. I figure, just pick out more 
the very edges. Right, we've got all our stone dry brushed up. Hopefully it focuses. Um, so we've got a nice bit of colour there. What I'm going to do now is whack a coat of Mod Podge over the base. I'm going to leave the figure. I'm not going to do that with Mod Podge. I'll hit that with a spray. And then uh, later on we'll add a bit of snow flock just to blend it into our frost grave table. Alright, so we'll just grab some Mod Podge. And just give the stone work a nice coat. that to dry and we'll come back in a bit. Right guys, our um, Bob Podge has dried up. I've given them a quick blast with a Purity Silt, which is a satin varnish, just to bring the metal up a little bit. And now I'm just going to whack on some flock. Right, I'm going to whack on some PVA, just whack it on the corners. That's a little bit. Let's come over a little bit see what I'm doing. Think about it too much. Right, grab your white flock. Bang it off. And there you go. Let's spray the flock down with some water just to seal it in. Grab some 25% PVA, 50% water. Just drip it on and it flows in because the water helps it disperse. And leave that to dry. Right, there you have it. All finished. I'll put the pictures up from the stills I took at the end so you can have a look at them properly. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's get it out there. And turn these old figures that we've got into something we can actually use. Well, take care and I'll see you next week. Cheers.